Hey everybody, and welcome back to the Ruined Zoo. Which, uh, most people believe is actually the zoo from Mother 1. Yeah, I just realized that, like, a week ago or something. Because I actually rewatched some Chuck Conroy's old videos and... Yeah. And I just hit my hand on my computer. Ow, ow. Anyways, here is a giant statue that looks really, really weird. Uh, anyway. So, Lucas is one of my best characters. Um, my best characters being Fox, Lucas, and Marth. So, anyways, you're just supposed to run to the right. Yep. And you don't have to kill anything! Yeah, the giant porky statue's just gonna kill it for you, so. But of course, I'm being stupid and wanting to kill them, so, haha. It's probably gonna end up getting me killed. Anyways, we're walking to the right. And we're walking to the right some more. And walking to the right some more. Um, I guess I could talk about. Uh, well, this is the Porky statue from Mother 3, actually, at the end of Mother 3. And in Earthbound, his name was Pokey. But in the Japanese version and in Mother 3, He's Porky. And so, um, it's actually called Porky Statue. Which, if you've played Earthbound and not Mother 3, you're gonna be confused. Because, um, the English translation of Earthbound, they put him as Pokey for some reason. Um, but his real name's Porky. That's why he looks like a pig. I mean, Earthbound's making fun of pretty much anything. Uh, it makes fun of there not being bathrooms in RPGs. But, anyway. That's why he looks like a pig, and there's Pig Mask in Mode 3 because his name's Porky. So, anyways. Um, the Porky statue just got owned by Nest, or it's going to. He says PK Pulse. There is no such thing as PK or PSI Pulse. So, I'm thinking it's either Rockin' or Flash. More than likely, it probably is Flash, but... So anyways, here's the boss fight against Porky! Yeah, um... Crap. Usually you can just stay up there and not get hit. So, anyways. Uh. Yeah, I was debating earlier about whether to go with Ness or Lucas, but I decided to go with Lucas. So I'm probably going to end up getting killed and have to use Ness anyway. Um. Lucas's up smash is PK Love, which is basically the equivalent of Vanessa's PK Rock. It's his main PSI power, he's the only one that can learn it. And it is gonna decimate him. Yeah, and, and uh, Super Smash Brothers, it can cause, like if there's enough damage to somebody, it's gonna KO. So. Anyways, I sure call Lucas getting killed, so I'm gonna get my statue and run away. So Porky has been destroyed for the let's see, one in Earthbound, one in Mother 3, and just so that's the third time that he's been uh, beaten. And here's Wario. You, you can take Ness and better with Lucas anyway. Just because I like abusing his up smash. And, uh, on the subject of PSI powers, Ness and Lucas actually 
don't learn PK Star Storm in Earthbound in Mode 3. Um, in Earthbound, it's Prince Pooh of Delam that learns PK Star Storm. And in Mother 3, it's Princess Kumatora of Oso. Yeah, that's a mouthful. Um, and on their uh, trophies, they're either their Final Smash or just their actual trophies that you get by beating Classic. It says that um, Pooh taught Ness, PK Star Storm, and Kumatora taught Lucas. Which I guess it makes sense. But in the games, they actually don't learn it. So anyways, here is Pokemon Trainer. Who I actually suck at using at this point, because all he has is Squirtle. Yeah. So... Contrary to popular belief, that's actually not Ash. Uh, that's Red. From... Red, blue, and leaf green, fire red, and all that. Uh, Ash was based off of red for the anime, but it's kind of hard to explain. In Crystal, they said that red is supposed to be Ash or something. Red is his own character. Um, he's from the manga books, and Ash is from the anime. There is a difference. And, uh... Besides, Ash never had an Ivysaur. So. Um, anyways... <laughs> yeah, Lucas's up smash will completely destroy those ghost fellows. Otherwise, you hit them and then they're gonna regenerate. So they are a pain. Anyways, I just spent, uh... Seven minutes talking about eh, probably more like five, but talking about Earthbound and Mother. Um, yeah. So, like I said a couple episodes ago, I am a lot more informed than I was when I played this the first time. Cause like the first time I did it, I was using like I was good with Wolf and. Uh, uh, Ike. And it was like, it. I mean, I like sucked with everybody else. I thought Lucas was horrible. I thought Link was horrible. <laughs> and so now it's like, they're two of my best characters. And I actually know where the characters are coming from. I know. I mean, I still don't know anything about Fire Emblem. I'm just kind of yeah, yeah, Fire Emblem, that strategy game, RPG. It's almost all Japanese, or like half of Uh, anyway. Yeah, because one of Marth's games wasn't actually translated to English. Yeah. Anyways, getting off that, um, I've played Earthbound in Mother 3. And I can't know what these guys are. Um, I don't have a Nintendo 64, so I can't play Star Fox, which I'm interested in downloading. I've got Project 64, because I played uh, Paper Mario, and that was retarded! I may play it on that. I don't know. And I've played Legend of Zelda. Uh, I played uh, one Kirby game. I can't remember what it was, but I did. It was a Game Boy game. I actually, I just played it for like five minutes because I was bored and then I stopped. Uh, anyways. So, hey, we're at the end of the level. I just completely spent the entire video talking about completely random stuff. That's a new one for me. Because I'll actually, like, talk about the game more than I'll just go off and randomly spout nonsense about something else. Well, at least it was a little bit related to this. And now this part has always confused me since I played Mother 3. At the end of Mother 3, Lucas was really brave, and now he's like a wimp again. And then he gets brave again. It's like, okay. Um, like three epiphanies? Three, four? Uh, anyways, we got a Master Belch thing, which is awesome. So, um, I'll see you guys next time for the Battlefield Fortress.